here with Liliana, personal trainer, who's going to show me some cool and simple routines that you can do at home and that will get you in shape. <laughs> My favorite stretch is a butterfly. I love butterfly. Feels awesome. <laughs> And then if you want to also stretch your back while I'm doing butterfly, you can just reach out. Also the yoga one called pigeon, I think. Where you kind of just go like this. Oh yeah, this is And lay down. And it stretches your uh, butt cheek. <laughs> it's also very relaxing. And then you switch the side. Lay down and it's very relaxing. It takes pressure off your lower back. It really stretches your hips too. Mm -hmm. Like if you suffer with the lower back pain, which I do, this one is a good for you. And you know what? The happy baby, as my teacher used to call it. You just lay down on your back and hold onto your feet and just kind of roll around. It's good for your back? Yeah. It's a very good self massage. On the carpet. Try it, yeah. <laughs> well, on the floor too, actually. You just get the lower back really well. <laughs> so there is a good stretch when you're with your friend. If you're the person who's stretching, you kind of just like push your legs out and then your friend pushes into your feet. But like be careful, don't push into the knees or like, you know, close to the knees because that can injure you. And then your friend just lays down and pulls you. Ah! <laughs> Make sure to be like really warmed up because this is like a dangerous one. Okay, so everybody loves push-ups. We can do push-ups on the floor, which is great if you're at home and you don't have anything to work out with. If you want it a little bit easier, keep your knees bent and your feet up, body straight. <laughs> Make sure you don't curve too much. Oh, I hate push-ups. And Nobody if you want a little them. bit of a challenge, you can keep up. Push-ups are like Mondays. They're terrible. <laughs> and what's really easy, we can go into a plank from here. So just come down on your elbows. Body straight. Keep your butt down. <laughs> My butt likes always, to stick out. <laughs> it's always a good thing. <laughs> Um, next we can do some kickbacks. These ones you're going to want to put your body out straight with your hand like this. Put one leg straight and then kick up. Not too, too much because you want to keep your back straight. But you want to definitely fill it in your boots. Leg there. Mm -hmm. Try to keep this leg a little straighter. Do you feel it right here? Yeah. Feet a little bit apart. Hands on the bottom of the ground. And lift. And squeeze your glutes in a bit. Mm -hmm. This one's really good for your hamstrings. So another really good core exercise. You lay yourself back. And put your knees in. And you kick it. Here's another good thing you can do with your friend, but I warn you, it's like you're gonna feel really like you're in hell. <laughs> so your friend holds on to your ankle, okay. then brings up legs, and you just push them down. Uh, and the fun part is that you can't touch the ground with your feet, and you do it until they cry. <laughs> and bag. <laughs> See, she, she's gonna cry soon. 
<laughs> it is very intense. It, it is very intense. I remember we were forced to do it in like a yoga class and I just hated my life every time it happened. <laughs> right, another great exercise for your tricep is if you have anything flat and stable at home, you can put yourself out. The straighter your legs are, the more it engages your triceps. It makes it a little bit harder. So if you do have access to a gym, a really good machine to do is always the leg curl. This one really engages your hamstrings and a little bit of the glutes as well. I'll show you how to do this one and then you can try. So you want to keep your hands here, feet flexed, and squeeze. Here and I do this. Ooh. So, uh, another great exercise is the lat pull down. This is really good for all your back here. It really works on the side thigh if you have any. So, you want to grip this kind of wide. The wider you grip it, the more it works out your lats. And you pull down just to chest level. Want to give it a go? Sure. So, Sit down, and I can't reach it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna feel it right here. Mm-hmm. Cool. Just to your chest, not too far. All right. Like below your chin. Like right here. Mm -hmm. Keep your arms wide. Right. <laughs> and this. the balanced one. And this. That's all I can do. I need to work on mine. The bicep curl is always really good for your arms to make them nice and shapely. You know, you bias for the guys. So, <laughs> sit down. Make sure you're not too low, not too high. Put your elbows down on this. And then we're just going to squeeze. And focus on your bicep when you do it. Ready? So I sit down. I take this okay. thing, mm -hmm. and you're going to put all the force right here. All right. All the force. <laughs> so another great one for your hamstrings and your butt and your lower back. This is actually almost like a full body workout. After you, you do these, you'll definitely feel them the next day. <laughs> so, you know. so you want to no. put your feet a little past the bar. You're gonna def uh, we're going to do straight legs. Um, deadlifts, so keep your legs for the most part straight. Um, you can bend your knees a tiny bit. You keep your back very straight as well. When you come up, you squeeze your glutes as well. And just try not to bend your back. I have a little problem with that too. So I stand. Stand a little bit closer. Closer? Uh -huh. Okay. And just first pick it up with your knees bent up. And you're going to keep your feet and close your legs a tiny bit. Uh, closer? Okay. okay. I'm going to keep them straight. Bend forward. And then squeeze me. <laughs> this is actually not as good as I thought it would be. It's strong. <laughs> With this machine, you can also do squats, which are always very good. You can come down low when you're on the machine, the Smith machine, because it's attached. You can go down really low for form. Down. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I just kind of keep your knees a little, uh, feet forward and lean back against the bar. Oh, okay. You can, like, you can even move your feet out forward more. Yeah, 
bed. I feel more comfortable this way. <laughs> Just try to keep your knees, don't let them bend too much. Like? Like don't, uh, don't let them like this. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, that's harder. <laughs> Oh my god. Ask the grass is very good. My butt is gonna kill me tomorrow. <laughs> so once again I'm here with Lillian, whose Instagram handle is what? Uh, Lily likes to lift. <laughs> yeah, Lily so as you saw, <laughs> Lily likes to lift and that's her Instagram handle. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, so right now I'm just going to school to become a personal trainer. I'm pretty much done. Um, after that, I'm thinking I want to go to school to be a veterinarian. So that'll be afterward, after I get certified personal trainer. So as a person who likes to work out, do you maintain a diet of some sort? Well, I try to meal prep uh, at least like on Sundays. I'll make at least like 12, 15 meals so that I have throughout the week. That way I can make sure I'm eating at least half my meals are healthy and then the other <laughs> half I might eat out. And, you know, but I, I do like to splurge, to splurge. I like to eat like, you know, I love food. So anything pretty much I'll definitely cheat. <laughs> so you're not like crazy counting calories? No, well, calories, no. I just make sure I get like my protein intake, my carbohydrates after the gym, all of that kind of stuff. One way like that's really good to like lose uh, stubborn uh, belly fat is in the mornings I like to do cardio, like fasted cardio. So the, right once you wake up, don't eat anything and just within that 30 minutes of waking up you go to the gym and do just like hit cardio or regular cardio and if you do that for like a week straight you'll definitely see a big difference like in belly fat. A lot of people have trouble losing that stubborn you know, pocket but that's like one of my little tricks that I like to do. Some people can't work out on an empty stomach but you know. I, I definitely... I mean, mornings are tough enough, seriously. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Is there any way, like, if somebody wants you to be their personal trainer, is there any way to reach out to you and work yeah. it out? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if anyone's looking, um, you know, my email is uh, lily1127 at live.com. You can send me an email. We can definitely get something set up if you want to do online or if you're local, definitely we can meet up. So just email me if you like. This was our little workout instruction and post-workout interview with Lillian. Don't forget to follow her on Instagram, Lily Likes to Lift. <laughs> and if you want to reach out to her for uh, personal trainer needs, email to uh, lily1127 at live.com. Have a good night or whatever it is, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>